Welcome back, Finance Homefront viewers. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we have an incredibly important topic to discuss, the recent downturn in the cryptocurrency market, with Bitcoin and Ethereum taking significant hits. We'll dive into the reasons behind this market bloodbath and explore expert insights on where these digital assets might be heading next. Before we get started, I want to remind everyone that while we provide analysis and insights, we do not offer financial advice. Always conduct your own research or consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. If you find this content valuable, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates on market trends, cryptocurrency news, and financial insights. Your support helps us bring you the latest and most relevant information. Let's get into it. Over the past day, global financial markets have experienced a significant downturn, bringing the cryptocurrency market down with them. The turbulence has seen substantial losses in major cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Bitcoin has experienced a sharp decline of approximately 16%, bringing its value to around $51,000. This is a notable drop as it briefly fell below $50,000 for the first time since February before making a slight recovery. Ethereum has not fared any better, suffering a dramatic plunge of about 23%, which brought its value down to approximately $2,250. The overall impact on the cryptocurrency market has been severe, with the total market value dropping by around 16% to a figure below $1.9 trillion according to data provided by CoinGecko. This significant decline in the market has been described by experts as a bloodbath, and it has left many investors and analysts questioning the causes and looking for signs of when the market might stabilize. The current situation in the cryptocurrency market is not occurring in isolation. Analysts point out that the broader macroeconomic environment across the United States, the Middle East, and Asia is also experiencing considerable turmoil. On Friday, the United States Labor Department reported a sharp increase in the country's unemployment rate, reaching its highest level in nearly three years. This was shortly after the United States Federal Reserve hinted at the possibility of a rate cut in September, which the market interpreted as a sign that the country might be slipping into a recession. This interpretation led to significant losses in traditional markets as well. Adding to the economic uncertainty, political tensions in the Middle East have been heightened, and the Japanese central bank made the decision to increase interest rates in an effort to strengthen the yen. On Monday, the benchmark stock exchange in Tokyo experienced its largest single-day decline since its inception. These factors collectively contribute to a global economic environment fraught with uncertainty and volatility. Tom Cohen, head trader at Algos Technologies, a crypto asset management firm, noted that economic conditions across the globe are contributing to the trading uncertainty. The situation is further exacerbated by the fact that weekend trading typically sees lower liquidity because institutional investors are usually inactive and fiat currency transfers are more challenging. Ruslan Linka, chief of markets at Uhodler, a cryptocurrency wallet and trading platform, highlighted that August has historically been a weak month for both Bitcoin and Ethereum, which has also played a role in the recent sell-offs. Despite the current market downturn, some experts remain optimistic about the future of cryptocurrencies. Eugene Cheung, head of institutions at Bybit, remains bullish on Bitcoin and Ethereum, citing their strong underlying fundamentals. He pointed to the increasing institutional adoption of cryptocurrencies, exemplified by Morgan Stanley's recent decision to allow wealth advisors to pitch Bitcoin exchange-traded funds to their clients. Chung also mentioned that anticipated rate cuts in the United States, the growing national debt, and increasing political support for cryptocurrencies could contribute to price gains in the second half of 2024. He suggested that Bitcoin has the potential to break out of its current range and reach targets of $86,000 or even $105,000. However, Chung cautioned 
that if Bitcoin fails to recover above the $56,800 resistance zone, it could face further declines. Immediate support on the downside is near the $53,000 level, with major support at $52,500 and $52,000. Any further losses could push the price toward the $50,000 support zone in the near term. Looking at historical patterns, past events provide some insights into the current conditions. During the market crash in March 2020, triggered by the COVID-19 pandemic, Bitcoin fell alongside the United States stock market, but began to recover as the Federal Reserve implemented quantitative easing and rate cuts. Similarly, the year 2022 witnessed significant turbulence in the cryptocurrency market, highlighted by the collapse of major companies like FTX. These historical events illustrate that while cryptocurrencies may experience short-term declines during periods of market stress, they have the potential to rebound with supportive monetary policies. Amid the recent market crash, cryptocurrency hackers have taken advantage of the lower prices to acquire discounted Ether using stolen funds. For example, on August 5th, 16,892 Ether were purchased with stolen cryptocurrency linked to a previous Nomad bridge hack. This activity underscores the vulnerabilities in the cryptocurrency market and highlights the potential for further instability during downturns. As the market navigates these challenges, there is considerable debate among influential figures about what the future holds. Some believe that the current downturn could pave the way for a recovery, while others caution that bearish trends may persist. The key question on many minds is whether a bull run will occur in 2024. The potential for a bull run largely depends on how global economic conditions, geopolitical tensions, and institutional behaviors evolve. If economic indicators stabilize, interest rates are adjusted favorably, and geopolitical tensions ease, there could be a strong case for a market recovery. However, if uncertainties persist or worsen, the path to a bull run might be more complex and prolonged. In summary, the recent market crash is the result of a complex interplay of global economic issues, geopolitical tensions, and institutional sell-offs. While the current environment presents significant challenges, it also offers potential opportunities for investors who can navigate this volatile period effectively. Staying informed about market trends, geopolitical developments, and economic indicators will be crucial for making informed investment decisions. Balancing short-term opportunities with long-term strategies will be key to managing risk and positioning oneself for potential recoveries in both the stock and cryptocurrency markets. That wraps up our deep dive into the recent crypto market crash and what experts are predicting for Bitcoin and Ethereum moving forward. The current economic climate is undoubtedly challenging, but as we've seen, there are both risks and opportunities ahead. Thank you for joining us today on Finance Homefront. If you found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update on the latest market trends and financial news. Remember, our goal is to provide you with information to help you stay informed and navigate these volatile markets, but this is not financial advice. Always do your own research and consult with a professional before making any investment decisions. Stay safe, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next video.